Right, does everybody okay? So third vid, like I said, is taking our time with this one. Right, example two, let's have a look at this one. So it says a big wheel has a radius of 4.8 metres. There. Uh, and the seat is 0 0.8 metres above. So right down the bottom here, that's 0 0.8 metres above. So that means then, if the radius is 4.8, then the centre line has got to be 5.6 metres above. 5.6. There. Can you see 5.6? And it will go to 0 0.8. Change the line. Then. And then if I add 4.8 onto that one, so if I add 4.8 onto there, it gives me the top of it as, what's 4.8 onto there? Is that 10.4? So the top of it is 10.4. That's roughly the line, isn't it? There. 10.4. Right. So I'm starting at the bottom. Um, oh, two complete revolutions. Oh my word. Right. So I'm starting at the bottom. It's going around anticlockwise. So I'm just going to put some points in roughly the same distance. And I'll try my best. So you can use like a, a ruler, can't you? You could do like one or two centimetres in between each one. I've just got a guess on here. So I've got one revolution, two revolutions. So, oh, where's that going? No idea. There. There we go. That's not that bad, actually. Right. Uh, it takes 60 seconds for one complete revolution. So that's 60 there. That's going to be 120. That's going to be 30. That's going to be 90. So then the 15 seconds are in between that one. There. Right. Well, I've kind of done that as if that's the x axis, but it isn't, is it? <laughs> Let's move that down to there. That's quite good. There. 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 That better. Oof. Sorry about that, I think. Carry the wheel just a little top. There we go, 120. There. Right. Suggest an equation for it. Awesome. Right, so let's have a think then. So we'll do a H for the height. So the centre line is at 5.6. So there's my centre line. Uh, My amplitude, my radius is 4.8. So there's my radius, 4.8. I'm going to come back to the, the sign that I'm putting in a minute. I'm going to do it for cos. Now think about it. So 360 divided by 60, because that's how long it takes for one revolution, tells me the number that goes in front of my t. So 6. Uh, T. Right, now then, here's my issue at the moment. Cos graph goes like that. And minus cos graph goes like that. So I'm going to use minus in here. I could have used a sine graph, but I would have had to move it over. I would have had to introduce a, a translation in there. And that would have made it a little bit more difficult for me, which is why I chose the cos graph. Because if it's either the bottom or the top, I can use the cos graph. If it's in the middle, use the sine graph. So I'll put that here. So I'll start, top, bottom, use cos, start, middle, use sine. Right, question for you to have a go at. Uh, I might release this one for you. Oh, she does it a different See, the problem is that she does it a different way for the uh, releasing. Uh, it's just like somewhat random. It goes around every, I do 360 over 25. And that gives me the value straight away, whereas the um, person who's done this pack looks at it slightly differently. 
Delete. Yeah, see, look, sign because we're starting in the middle. Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, see, I wouldn't have done that. I'd have just done 20, 360 over 25, which gives us straight away the 72 over 5 for that. Yeah. Right, keep going, Dave. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Right, so using trig functions to model periodic phenomena. Nom, 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 nom. Um, so tides, temperature, stuff like that. So we've got a series of sand dunes. Um, so we've got y equals sine 60x, where x is the largest. Uh, x is the length of a sand dune. So we've got 0 to 24. So if you look, if you graph it, let me pause it a second while I get the calc on. Me again, back with you. I've just put the thing on. Now I've graphed sine 60x and I've set, set it from 0 to 24. So that's what I've got. Um, but before I graph it, let's have a think about the 60. Where's that 60 come from? 360 over a number gives me 60 out. So 360 over 60 is 6. Now that's telling me um, what one whole revolution is, one whole cycle. So there's a cycle every six degrees, minutes, hours, meters, whatever it represents. So let's try and find that on here. So every six, which I think, if that's a 12, so that's a six there. So I've got to go kind of halfway. And then halfway. So that's like oh, one. And then halfway, halfway. Try to keep them the same as well. You've got a ruler. You could just really like put the dotted line across, couldn't you? To try and get it. Uh, there. So one whole cycle, one sand dune, is six. So it represents it in metres, wouldn't it? So x is the length of metres. So each sand dune is six metres. So number of sand dunes, one, two, three, four sand dunes, is there? Let's have a look. Yeah. So it's four sand dunes, and it kind of repeats itself four times. There. Um, give one reason why well you're not going to get it looking like that are you? the wind will blow bits like further down and on one side or, or higher up on the other so so it's unlikely they'll be the same height unlikely the same height there we go so every 6 metres is our way of height. right there's another example here, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get through it in time. It would have been quite nice to do that, but I think I just waffled a bit too much. Right, I'm just going to pause, stop it, and do another video.